boy, do we got a video for you today. So peeps, today we actually have a really special job for us because I don't think I've done one in the past on this channel. I'm not really sure. But today we're doing a hot water riser. Now here's what you ought to know about risers. I've said it a million times before, but for the community members that are brand new, a riser is essentially a vertical copper pipe in most instances that travels throughout a building and distributes potable water, either hot water or cold water. So for example, if you live on unit 104, this riser will go from 104, 204, 304, 404, 504, all the way up to whatever the top floor of the building is, and it'll be distributing either hot water or cold water in your kitchen or in your bathroom. That's typically how a riser works. So a couple of weeks back before the holiday started, Dad actually got a call to go to a building that we normally service. He gets there, sees water on the floor, starts cutting holes, and realizes the hot water riser is actually leaking. So he clamps the pipe, which is a temporary repair, which just takes care of the pinhole leak that's currently there and now we're gonna go in and actually replace it a couple of floors I think it's gonna be a total of three floors and you peeps are coming along with me so let's have some fun let's get to work oh and by the way peeps you know what to do baby let's go do some delicious plumbing Alrighty peeps, so that was phase one of everything. We had to remove all the toilets because the risers are behind them. Then we had to open the walls to see the risers. And now we made a list of material that we need. We're at the supplier. We're gonna grab material, head back, and start doing the plumbing. Let's go.
Okay, peeps, I wanna pop into the studio just so we can talk about what exactly is going on in here. That way you get a better visualization of what's happening behind the walls. So again, we ended up coming into this building because there was a pinhole leak. And here's something you have to understand when you do have a pinhole leak. Sometimes you get pinhole leaks because two pipes are rubbing. Sometimes you get a pinhole leak because there are two different metals touching one another. And then sometimes you get a pinhole leak because you actually have a screw that goes into a pipe. But the majority of times that we find pinhole leaks, none of those things are occurring which really tells you that the state of the pipe is not doing so well. So the reason why we opted to change two or three floors in this video is because we know that if a pinhole leaks happening in one section, then the pipe wall thickness most likely is not as thick as it once was. And therefore, as a preemptive measure, we're gonna change a couple of floors to make sure that we're safe and that we don't have to cut the same holes in a year or in two years. So here's what's happening behind the walls right here, okay? Here's a typical example of what a high rise looks like. Each floor is going to have the same type of bathroom basically set up. You're gonna have a water closet, you're gonna have a shower, you're gonna have a vanity, and then you're gonna have the same thing on each and every floor. What we're seeing here is, is we have a cold water pipe coming all the way throughout the building, just like so, just for these bathrooms right here. And you also have a hot water pipe coming throughout the building, just like so. And what we're doing is we're cutting the pipe just around this area because there was a pinhole leak in this section and we're changing it all the way up to this floor right here. So this pipe is going to be brand new by the end of this video. And the way these risers work, as they go through the floor, they actually branch off and start feeding all the fixtures on each and every one of these floors. So that's why you're gonna see some T's that we're including and some 90's that we're including because we have to reconnect to the branches that are supplying all the fixtures on that floor. And another thing for you all to know is the reason why we only went three floors is because of the sizes of the pipe. We realized that for this section of pipe, that we're replacing, it was three quarter for three floors. And then once it got to that top floor, it actually upsized to a different pipe size altogether. So we're under the impression that it's only the three quarter line that is having a little bit of difficulty that is wearing out a little bit faster than everything else. So we're gonna have our fingers crossed. We're gonna replace that section of three quarter pipe and hopefully everything will be fine for the next few years. Let's get back to the video.
Well, peeps, that's it for me. Just another day in the life of a plumber. Do me a favor, if you like this video, smash that thumbs up and share with some friends. Like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you plumbers very soon. Oh, and by the way, how hot is this song? What happened to us? What happened to all the love we always took for granted? So good, right? Love you guys, and I'll see you plumbers very soon. Kenny Molotov, guys. Peace, baby. I'm waiting for an answer. Waiting for a sparkle to come. To ignite love. I need no second chances. I'm tired of romances without love. So where do we go when we can't find our way? I don't want to be alone. I need you tonight and I don't want to wait. I want you to show me the way. Cause I'm a satellite around you. Tonight, nothing's gonna bring me down. As long as the stars in the sky. Breaking my heart